Today we're going to learn how to create a dynamic work list using MPages view. We want to locate and select the dynamic work list button in the upper menu icons in Power Chart. If no work list has ever been created, then select the Create Work List option on the screen. Otherwise, select the Create Work List option from the List Actions drop menu icon above. You may create a dynamic work list by provider or by location. For this example, let's create a work list by provider. If you choose a work list by location, you most likely will be looking for specialty visits as those um, contain uh, providers from multiple uh, areas in one location. Then we're going to name the work list. We will use Magnolia COVID-19 list Patterson age 75 plus. Make sure the group provider option is also selected. It may be best to leave the auto remove disqualified patients unchecked so you can verify the patients that need to be removed from the list later. Select the provider option and type in the last name of the provider to automatically search the list of eligible providers. Then single click to add the provider. Here you may add more than one provider to create a full list, but in this tutorial we'll create a work list for one provider so we can send letters or portal messages on behalf of that provider, which helps with promoting interoperability and meaningful use. Then we want to make sure that the lifetime button is selected under relationship type and select the primary care physician option under relationship type. Make sure the lifetime option is selected also and do not select any other relationships listed. Click the next button in the lower right corner of the screen to move forward. Then we're going to select the age criteria to enter the required age limit. Our example will use greater than 74 years of age to capture 75 and older. Next, we want to select the admission range and enter the required admission look back. We'll use a maximum of 546 days to capture any patient admitted for a service within this time frame. Select encounter type and enter a required encounter type criteria. We'll look for outpatient encounters and we can validate that we want clinic encounters, not the, non, the clinic non-provider visits. Click the next button on the lower right corner of the screen to move forward. And then we want to verify that the dynamic work list criteria has what we need to create the work list. Then we want to click the finish button in the lower right corner of the screen to move forward. We'll see that our work list is created and the total number of qualifying patients will be located below the work list title. If you have created other work lists, you can view those by creating and clicking the work list down arrow and selecting the other list. Also, please note that there is a list actions drop menu located next to your dynamic work list title. Then we want to verify that the patient selections in the list appear appropriate to the filter selected. And we're going to start uh, looking into how to send portal messages in our letters. To do that, first we want to locate the general communications button in the work list menu icons. And then we select office communication under subject drop list menu list. And then we select reminders under note type. Then we want to verify the provider name for which we're sending on behalf of and use the e-prescribing address as the address of record for printed letters to be mailed. Once we've done this, then we can paste the text for the letter to be sent or type any short messages that we want sent as uh, communication to patients. Once we've completed that, we can select generate and print the letters um, or send the letters to the patient portal. 
If you click cancel, messages will only be sent to the patient with an active portal account, and those without a portal account will look like they received a message since it is saved to the chart, but they will not. You will see generate communication message completed with a green check mark if you were successful. This step must be repeated for each PCP within your clinic. Next, we wanna learn how to contact patients. We can do this by hovering over the telephone icon to see the patient contact number. When you slide the mouse cursor over the right border, you will see the expansion arrow um, to document any actions performed for that patient. Again, we hover to see the telephone number, the contact number, and we can see that border expansion. And here we can enter any comments such as call attempts or documentation of discussions. For example, receive vaccine at public health location or a decline vaccine and any actions needed. Reminder to call back in three days due to COVID quarantine, for example. You may also send a message or create a reminder in the patient chart by selecting the appropriate option above. Click save comment or save action to document in the list. And if any comment or actions are documented, you will see a note icon above next to the date of birth. Then we click the menu arrow to collapse the documentation window. Use the signal buttons to create easy face-up codes to see what actions were taken. If the patient had one or more doses of COVID vaccine, open the chart and import the vaccines from CARE into the Cerner chart. Next, we wanna share this list with others. So if we're working with uh, a clinic team um, with other coworkers, we may share the list by selecting share under the list options drop menu. Enter the team member name and set the duration to 546 days. Then select add in the lower right corner of the window and then select close to send the list. And they will be able to see that list in their list of dynamic work lists. To modify a created work list, select Modify under List Actions drop menu and verify the settings under the work list type criteria and summary to change any items that need to be updated to modify the work list search criteria. For example, you can modify the age criteria to greater than 64 years to capture 65 years and older and click next to create the new work list. Then click finish and OK to update. Thank you very much for taking part in this tutorial and we hope you have fun.